Hey producer, roll VT. Roll tape. Boolean data type stores just two values. Boolean data types store just two values. Hey producer, cut. Hey pro That's a take. Hey producer, go to next scene. Moving to next scene. Boolean data type stores just two values. Boolean data types store just two values. Hey producer, cut. Hey producer, roll VT. Rolling VT? Booleans are primarily associated with conditions. Booleans are primarily associated with conditions. Booleans are primarily asso- Hey producer, stop recording. Stop the VT. Hey producer, go to next scene. Moving to the next scene. Hey producer, roll VT. We're rolling. For example, is the light on? Is the cell phone ringing? Is the cat on my desk? For example, is the light on? Is the cell phone ringing? Is the cat on my desk? For example, is the light on? Is my cell phone ringing? Is the cat on my desk? Hey producer, stop the tape. All cameras stopped. Hey producer, go to the next scene. Moving to the next scene. Hey producer, roll VT. We're rolling. Has the cat been feed? Is the cat lying about having been fed? Is the cat... <laughs> Has the cat been fed? Is the cat lying about having been fed? Hey producer, stop the tape. Has the cat been feed? Is the cat lying about having been fed? Is the cat... <laughs> Has the cat been fed? Is the cat lying about having been fed? Hey producer, stop the tape. Boolean data types are lousy for representing fuzzy values. Boolean data types are absolutely lousy for representing fuzzy values. Hey producer, stop the tape. The values of true and false in Boolean logic and Boolean data types are concrete. The values of true and false in Boolean logic and also in Boolean data types are concrete. Hey producer, stop the VT. The values of true and false in Boolean logic and Boolean data types are concrete. The values of true and false in Boolean logic and also in Boolean data types are concrete. Hey producer, stop the VT. What we would call immutable. What we would call immutable. Hey producer, stop the tape. What we would call immutable. What we would call immutable. Hey producer, stop the tape. That means, in a modern language, we cannot define true to be some value other than true. That means in a modern language we can't actually define the value of true to be some other value other than true. Hey producer, read the prompt. That means, in a modern language, we cannot define true to be some value other than true. Hey producer, stop the tape. Boolean data types store just two values. Booleans are primarily associated with conditions. For example, is the light on? Is my cell phone ringing? Is the cat on my desk? Boolean data types are absolutely lousy for representing fuzzy values. The values of true and false in Boolean logic and also in Boolean data types are concrete. What we would call immutable. That means in a modern language we can't actually define the value of true to be some other value other than true. Boolean data cannot represent whether our cat wants to be on the other side of the closed door or this side of the closed door. We have established then that Boolean values are truth values, usually true or false. That's terrible. Hey producer, stop the tape. We have established then that Boolean values are truth values. 
in software development, true or false, in electronics, zero or one. Though not always, which we'll touch on briefly. All modern languages support the Boolean data type. All modern languages support the Boolean data type. For example, all the languages such as C and C++ did not have the Boolean data type. For example, all the languages such as C and C++ did not have the Boolean data type. They used an integer data type. They used an int too old. Which led to all sorts of problems. Which led to all sorts of problems. Fortunately, the newer dialects of C and C++ formalize what a Boolean is by introducing the explicit data type. Wow, that's awkward. Fortunately, fortunately, the newer dialects of C and C++ formalize the Boolean data type. Oh, that's terrible. Fortunately, the newer dialects of C and C++ formalize what a Boolean is by introducing the explicit data type. Fortunately, the newer dialects of C and C++ formalize what a Boolean is by introducing the explicit data type. Just be careful when working... Hey producer, stop recording. <laughs> and that's a take. <laughs>